It's time to travel with Car and Key. We know exactly where your next stop should be. Well, if it's been a while since you've visited Nelson Mandela Bay, it's definitely time to plan your next visit. They've got some amazing tourism offerings, and with their new Nelson Mandela Bay Pass Card, it'll turn out to be an amazingly affordable holiday. To tell us more, I'm joined on the line now by Mandlakazi Scafile, CEO of Nelson Mandela Bay Tourism. Mandlakazi, good evening. Welcome to the show. Good evening, Karen, and thank you for having me this evening. Well, I was absolutely blown away by what's going on in Nelson Mandela Bay. There seems to be so many things happening up there now. There's so many things happening. It's such an exciting time for us, and we're looking forward to a very positive season this year. Let's talk first of all about that Nelson Mandela Bay Pass Card, because I was having a look at that, and the offerings and the things that are available on there are quite remarkable. They are, absolutely. Um, just to explain a little bit about the pass itself, um, uh, people that travel around the world, they may have seen something called a New York pass, a London pass. So it is a city card, which is a smart card access, which provides free admission to a variety of attractions throughout the city. So instead of you visiting a particular attraction and paying an entrance fee for that uh, attraction, you simply swipe for your access. So you buy one of this access card and it allows you access, you know, into this variety of, of attractions and activities throughout the city. You've also got other places where you can get quite nice discounts on them as well. So it's not just about the free access. There's other attractions. I think I was looking at things that are on the card. There's over 50 of them where yes. either it's a free attraction or it's an attraction with a nice discount. So yes. you get lots of options. Definitely. There's over 50 products that are participating on the city pass and rightfully as, as you are saying it, it's either giving you free access to these facilities or it gives you a discount you know in experiencing some of them and you've also got quite a nice selection of, of how you've planned this as one two three days is also the five in one pass and the, the other thing you've got this was it this the saunter what was that tell me a little bit about that Okay, um, like you said, um, the, the, the city passes vary. You either purchase a one-day pass, two-day pass, it goes up to seven-day pass. And then the most favorite one is called a, a five-in-one pass. And in all these passes, we, it, it's an easy way of packaging the experiences, and there's a variety of them. One of them is what you have mentioned now, which is the Sunshine Center. It is a route that we have that goes along the coast, um, of Port Elizabeth uh, on your way down to the Garden Road. It's a scenic route. It is tranquil. It's got um, uh, villages and it's got some antique shops and nice coffee shops. It's, a, it's, a, it's Actually, it's a beautiful scenic route for somebody who's looking at relaxing, beautiful walking trails as well. So, yeah, it's, it's, it, it contains a variety of experiences. Now, that one is quite unique. Cause am, am I correct in thinking that that one is actually valid for three months? It's activated yes. when you first use it, though, and yes. then you've got three months. Yes, you've got three months to use it. You, you, you would either, even if it's a one-day pass or it's a five-in-one pass, once you've activated, it, it's valid for three months, and then after that, you will forfeit whatever you have not used. But it's an affordable way of, of, of getting through to our different places of interest in the city. Gosh, so you've actually made it very accessible. We're giving people so many options here. Absolutely. And with with this pass now that we have, and having mentioned that there's over 50 attractions that are, are, are participating, there's no more excuses and there's no more whining to say. Yes. There's nothing to do in Nelson Mandela Bay. <laughs> well, <laughs> we just... made it easy for people. Absolutely. To <laughs> you know, there's, there's adventure activities. There's kiddies activities, there's just anything and everything for anyone. Those that want to visit the townships or do some city sightseeing, they can get to do that. And yeah, so, so there's everything for everyone. The other thing, we also, we keep saying Nelson Mandela Bay, which means there's water around there somewhere, obviously. Mm -hmm. And we've yes. got these fabulous um, cruises that have now been launched as yes, well. Tell me about that. Yeah, three weeks ago. We've added to the offering that we already have as a city. Now, if I can elaborate a little bit more, and it's one of our unique selling points as a destination, and you may understand that it's very important for the city to, to really identify what is unique to them. 
So we're saying over and above the wildlife experience that we offer, we have now added an element of ocean safari. So all along we've had only one operator that does these ocean safaris. They go out along our Alcoa Bay and get to see the abundance of the marine life that is along the, the Alcoa Bay. So recently, uh, three weeks ago, we, we, we launched two additional operators that have come on board with three boats. So we will now be able to carry capacity of up to about 80 uh, people that wants to go out at sea and get to experience beautiful dolphins. I was out this morning to the island. We've seen probably a school of about a thousand. Wow. You know, where else do you see a, a, a pod of a thousand dolphins, bottlenose dolphins? You know, hence we are now referred to as the bottlenose dolphin capital of the world. That's amazing. What it, you, it sounds like you have a very tough job there, Mandlakazi, going out to the <laughs> islands in the morning, looking at the dolphins. I mean, we all would love to have jobs like I'm that. I'm telling you, because <laughs> it's beautiful right out at sea this morning. But the thing about that part of the world, though, I mean, you've got the most amazing coral. So I hope the divers who do dive there are being responsible about that. Yes, it's, it's something that we promote. And in all our attractions, you know, an element of what we do is to promote responsible and sustainable tourism. So we want to encourage people to make sure that they practice such in order to sustain our industry. And, and you, if I can may just mention, yes. a while ago, there was talk of having a fish farm right on our prime beach spot. And, you know, we, we, we were really vocal about it to say we are not opposed at the idea of having such a project but its location, you know, is, is, is not ideal. Rather, find an alternative location. So it's all about promoting sustainability. Because the, the, also, if you're thinking close to the water, you've got amazing dune fields and you've got yes. ship, historical shipwrecks around there mm. and you, the beaches, beautiful beaches, safe beaches. And, and the coral reefs mm. as well. You know, we've got beautiful diving sites. We have people traveling from across the world coming to, to dive into our beaches. So these two cruises we just mentioned now, this is part of the marine tourism offering that you have in, in Nelson Mandela Bay. What exactly happens when you go on these cruises? What do you get to see and where do you go? Okay, the, the, the cruises, they take about three hours to, to go out. It leaves, the boat leaves in the morning at about 8 o'clock, half past 8. The guests would sail out of the harbour. It leaves the harbour and it goes out to the islands that we have. Uh, we've got three iconic islands along Balcoa Bay. One of them is St. Croix Island. St. Croix Island is home to the largest breeding colony of the African penguin in its natural habitat. So it is something unique. You get to see um, approximately 18,000 birds, that is 18,000 penguins, you know, in their natural habitat on that, on that island. And then the other island is home to Cape Garnet. There's over 200,000 birds, you know, right on that island. And the other one is a seal island, you know. And then as one goes uh, towards those islands, you get to be entertained with some of the penguins that are swimming on the water as they go out to fish. And um, you get to see the dolphins, the bottlenose dolphins. We have, along the Algoa Bay, we have approximately 29,000 bottlenose dolphins. Hence, we, we've been declared now as the bottlenose dolphin capital of the world. There's nowhere else in the world you can see that. But now, Mandelkazi, with all these offerings that you've got happening in, mm. in Nelson Mandela Bay, this must obviously increase the length of time that tourists are going to be staying in your area, which Absolutely. increases the spend. It's great for the economy. It boosts your yes. tourism. What, is the, what are the tourism figures looking like there now? must be great. Well, the tourism numbers are, are, are continuing to grow and we're looking forward to seeing how we have performed during 2016 because things have been looking very positive. But if I may just talk about the confirmed figures that we had for 2015, we have been able to grow our um, contribution into the economy of Nelson Mandela Bay through tourism to the value of about 7.3 billion rand. Wow. That has gone up from just over 6 billion rand the previous year. So tourism is growing, and that we are identifying these unique selling points. Because remember, 
a, a, a guest or a traveler is spoiled for choice out there. There's just too many destinations the person can go to. So for you to to be top of mind to that person, there must really be something unique and different about you. People have been to beaches around the world. People have seen cultural experiences. That is well and good, but it's about highlighting what is unique to your destination and hook them with that uniqueness. And while they in your destination, then you get to showcase everything else that you have to offer. Well, I don't think you've got a problem with the unique part because, I mean, you've got s- <laughs> some things that are there which, you, as you said, you're not going to find anywhere else. Exactly. So I don't Absolutely. think you've got a problem with that. It's just getting them there, letting them know yes. about this, which yes. I think is amazing, and yes. just, just promoting the area and all these unique selling points are fantastic. Exactly. And this is a promotion that we are doing now. We are going aggressively in different markets, attracting, educating them about these unique selling points that we have. As we speak now, I've just arrived from a day-long excursion. We are hosting a country manager of South African tourism all the way from Beijing. He's based in the China office. We are working with him. With, we've facilitated that he comes down and meets with our uh, product, that is the Nelson Mandela Bay, and you know, help us to understand the market and how we can effectively target a, a, a tourist from China, from Japan and Korea, because there is extensive growth that is being experienced in those markets. So tomorrow we'll be sharing with our local product and our local media on, you know, on those uh, learnings from him, as well as some of the work that we have done as Nelson Mandela Bay Tourism, because we started now participating on those international platforms where we also want to be seen and be you know, identified as a preferred destination, not just a stopover destination. Gone are the days where Nelson Mandela Bay is just an airport destination. We want to be seen as a destination where people can spend a minimum of two nights. Well, like I said in the very beginning, you know, if people have been to Nelson Mandela Bay before and you'll sort of say, oh, well, I've been there before, you need Mm. to go back because there's so much to see now. There's so much to see, absolutely, yeah. So don't think, well, I went there 20 years ago. You need to go yeah. now, you know. There's new, <laughs> there's new activities, there's new products, there's new routes being developed. So, yeah, we, we are ready to welcome our guests. Wow, it sounds like you're in for a really busy year ahead, Mandakazi, with all that going on. It sounds amazing. I wish you much success with that, and I hope that you have a wonderful festive season and loads and loads of tourists in the area. Thank you so much, Karen. We're looking forward to uh, to welcoming our visitors, and we know that they're going to have a wonderful time in our city. And I'd love to catch up with you again in the new year, see how things are going up there. Absolutely. Let's do that. And thank you so much for your time this evening. Awesome. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you, Mandelakazi. Good night okay. to you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Mandelakazi Skafile is the CEO of Nelson Mandela Bay Tourism. And for more information, have a look at their website. You'll want to actually get in your car right now and go up there. It's www.nmbt.co.za.